Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, I'm not even sure, it's been too long. I There's been a long stretch where I was sick, then a stretch where I was just extremely depressed, or doing a lot of work for other people. It's just been one thing after another. I've had been taking care of a puppy more recently, and just everything seems to be going and going and going. And now I'm just running around just to do this intro. Uh, I tried to do this recording like a week and a half ago. I got about an hour into the episode where I had taken care of basically nothing. And then I just started not feeling well at all and I spent the rest of the day in bed. And it sucks. But I'm doing fine at the moment. I don't have a lot of extra things going on for the first time in a week. Um, so we're going to head over to Bless here real quick. I'm hoping that my recording setup sounds fine right now. Because as it stands, I'm trying something very different and very new. I'm sure that, you know, my voice is a bit more grovelly or whatever than it normally is, but it's probably fine. Oh, I remember something I did. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I decided to start trying to grind up gold, and I thought I that was a part of the previous thing, and that I was just, you know, gonna have to redo it or whatever. I apparently did do this. Oh. Um, yeah, I, uh, I spent an hour in game, aka a lot more than an hour in real life, just grinding these. I did well over a hundred of these, and I got six gold, and I was about to report on that. But I just got a seventh goal. I don't know, man. Um, I my luck isn't very good, but also my luck wants to prove me wrong constantly. I need a lot of gold, so I'm gonna do this for a little bit longer. We'll see how this goes. Another gold, okay. I guess the universe was really telling me not to record that day. I wasn't feeling well and it just wasn't going well. And now I've gotten two gold within like seven. Another gold. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot better. I figure I'll just use up the rest of my energy real quick. And another gold. We love to see it. And another gold. Okay, I'm done here. Okay, so I have a lot more gold, silver, and iron now. And now I can do more crafting. That's the idea, at least. How is my ship list coming along? So... Here we go. No, not that. This. 32% currently. I have a lot of work to do. What's my level? Forty-five. Okay. Let's see if I have a bullhorn or not. So I've been doing some thinking on how I want to do everything, and the answer is I'm really not sure. <laughs> uh, I, of course, still want to finish this game post-haste. I don't want to take a break from it work on something else, even though this game... This game's a hard game to make a series for. Like, even more than Rune Factory 1, I feel. It has been a very different experience, and I still have a crap ton to do. And then there's Rune Factory Frontier, the next game in the series, technically, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do about that one. That one's going to be a very different experience, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it in this style, or if I may stream the game. And if I stream the game, then it would be a lot easier, because I wouldn't be doing the same kind of work that I do here. But I don't know yet. I'll have to test things. So that's just kind of my thoughts right now. Let's uh, check out my inventory here. Okay. 
Let's do this. Do I have the recipe? I should. I guess I don't. Okay, it's gonna be two silver. Panther Claw, Insect Jaw, Bullhorn, and Scorpion Pincher all together to make. I should have a 100% chance of this at this level. The Critical Ring. Now, the Critical Ring. There it is. 39 recipe. Its upgrade is a 46 recipe. So, we could do this for a single gold and a silver. Mm. Before I do that, because I'll need a lot more... Eh, let's not do that right now, then. I've made it, so I can wipe that off my list if I had a pencil. Is this sharpened, yes or no? Nope, it's broken. Okay, future Gabe, you're doing it this video, because I didn't prepare. <laughs> okay, next item on my agenda... Okay, Gobble Archers. We're gonna do this. Also, I need this. There we go. This energy. I think you might be able to drop something as well, but I'm not sure if it's you. You're kidding me. And I got sealed by the first one. I got hit by, of course. I was about to say I could use a bird wing, so I was gonna kill that real quick and then leave. So that's convenient. Um, this is not the right place. <laughs> I don't think the these ones can do it. Eh, uh, they can. Cool. Because I'm completely out of this, I wanted to see whether or not I could get a second one. Group of Warrior. They actually got another spawn off. I do not have any medicine this, so I can't teleport. Well, that's unfortunate. One hundred G is not bad. It costs five hundred to actually carry these with you. I can make them, so I'll just make them. Huh. It's just Tanya and something I can't do. I guess we're gonna take a goblin. I wanna make the barn larger. Gotta remember to do it every morning in the morning. So I just checked and I don't have the ability to get Sparkle String and I apparently don't have a stockpile of it like I thought I did. So I'm not going to be able to make this until tonight. So I'll take care of that later. For now, I'm going to look into what rings I can make. Okay, so I don't know whether this is true, but it says I haven't actually made, or at least I don't have it written down, that I've made any of the rings. Or most of the rings, rather. So let's start off with the silver. Four silver together for the level 13 recipe. The silver ring. Five gold together to make the level 24 recipe, the gold ring. Six platinum together to make the level 35 recipe, the platinum ring. So I generally don't trust anything, so I'm gonna ship these. Actually, I'm gonna check my list first, then ship these. Emerald Earth Critical. So I had shipped the Critical, but I believe I got this via the quest. I think it was a quest that gave me this. Yep, sure enough, I've only made a few different rings. I really thought I would have made other of these rings. I guess I just didn't have the gold to do it. Wild. So silver, which is weird that I didn't make that. Gold. And platinum. I just realized I never read these. 
Future Gabe, uh, chime in right here. Silver ring. A ring with a simple popular design. The silver version is easily obtainable. Gold ring. A ring with a simple popular design. The gold version is a little more expensive. Now I'll read this, the platinum ring. A ring with a simple popular design. The platinum version is uh, very hard to obtain. Eh, shout out to Pokemon. Alright, give me a moment. Okay, the amethyst ring. I believe it is one amethyst and two gold to make the amethyst ring. The sapphire ring is one sapphire and two gold to make. That is the level 37 recipe, by the way. And the amethyst was level 30. Ruby, on the other hand, is a ruby and two gold. Oh? Is that not right? Oh! No, it's slightly different. Ruby Ring is actually a ruby and three gold for some reason, and is level 34 recipe. Now the Diamond Ring is a diamond and two gold. What? Maybe it's a diamond and three gold and I have it written down wrong. It's possible. I make mistakes. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it all that we've got. This is a level 41 recipe, so we can do it. Yeah, but it's three gold. I'll have to fix that real quick. Okay, now we're going for the level 35 recipe, using a water crystal, a gold, a speckled skin, a magic crystal, and a panther claw all together to make the water ring. Okay, so one gold, a speckled skin, a magic crystal, a scorpion pincher, and a wind crystal all together make the wind ring. Giant's fingernail, a gold, a magic crystal, an earth crystal, and a speckled skin all come together to make the level 29 recipe, the earth ring. The wind ring was level 33, and I cannot currently make a fire ring because I don't have a hard horn. So we'll get back to that later. The earth ring, a ring bring, brimming with the power of the earth. Its energy gives the wear protection against earth. Wind ring, a ring bring with the power, brimming with the power of the wind. Its energy gives the protection against wind. Water Ring, a ring brimming with the power of water. Its energy gives the uh, wear protection against water. Ruby Ring, has a mysterious appealing design. Look deep inside the ruby and you'll get lost in its passion. Amethyst Ring, an astringent cool amethyst which creates a calm, sure atmosphere. Diamond Ring, a blindingly brilliant ring. All see it are immediately awed and totally captivated. Sapphire Ring, a ring with a beautifully glittery sapphire. Its cute color is its best attribute. And that's all the ones I'm selling for now. There we go. Alright, time for adventure. If I try, I, uh, starting today I'll be sending on trials to Machina Valley. Right then, I want you to defeat ten goblins. I don't think I need to worry about you for this one. Are you, and you know what to find goblins, right? Do your best. Alright. Let's do our best. Wow. The first one. Great. Love to see that. Hate to say it, actually. Oh, I guess this won't mind. Oh, Pretty super easy. And another proof of warrior, and we're done. While I'm here, as you may have noticed, I have no plans on doing the, uh, classes for today we're skipping because we're getting like repeated it's just like oh hey you didn't do this right somehow and i'm like i'm not sure how so rather than that for now i'm going to take a little bit of a break and just try to make progress okay we're all healed up and that's okay welcome back it looks like you managed to take out 10 goblins how'd it go pretty easy huh anyway here's your reward 3000 g i've got plenty more trials to put you through yet Chip squeak. Yeah, for a trial, are ya? That's always good to see. Can you defeat ten chip squeaks for me? Don't let its cute appearance deceive you. It's a monster through and through. Don't let your guard down. I'm just sitting out to say that. Chip squeaks. <clears throat> chip squeaks can be found in Machina Valley at night. Great. Well, good luck. Take care out there. Okay, I figured we'd be getting into some night stuff soon, so I'm glad I took that now. 
we can turn that in tonight before we go to bed. And I actually need some fur anyway, so it's probably a good thing. For now, though, we are in Trust Force Windy Pass. Uh, I didn't mean to come here. For now, though, we're in Trias Forest Mushroom Patch. Because I need a spore. <laughs> okay, I think here? Yep. And there's the po poison powder I needed. So awesome. Okay, we're actually done here. We gotta come over here to the river stream. Beat up you. I got a plant stem. Perfect. Okay. Now. Stop that. We're gonna need tortoise shells. And I got one. How many do I need? I only need the one. Cool. Got it immediately. I'll go marine, get Earth Crystal. I don't want one of those actually. I actively don't. I have a stack of them and I'm not going to use the eye that means teleport. I was talking smack on the Earth Crystal and I didn't like that. I'll actually keep that one. So later today I will actually be needing the scrap iron. So I'll be keeping this for today. Oh, silver. Nice. Or it could all be different levels. Why wouldn't it all be different levels? This is what I hate about this. Like, by upgrading, you eventually get so many different levels that... Uh, they eventually make it so that they can all stack together, and that's great. It's not great right now, though. Uh don't need this. Now we take one Agua Marine and two gold to make the Agua Marine Ring. The Agua Marine the Agua Marine Ring is actually level 25 recipe, so we could have done that for a very long time. The Agua Marine Ring, and Enbolding Appealing Ring. Its stone is cut as though shaved by the raging waves of the sea. Shipped. Okay, after all those rings, we're up to 45%. Nice. So we got 13% almost exclusively off of rings. If not actually exclusively off of rings. That's really good. Okay, I have these on me, and I don't know why I'm carrying them around on. I don't. Oh yeah, they're there. Brand glasses, brand name glasses, certain boost to your fashion reputation in certain circles. So I understand this is good for grinding. I don't need them right now. I'm gonna ship them. I will be making another pair, and then using those to grind later. So yeah. Okay. Now we're going to work on a level 43 recipe using one shoulder piece, a silver, a broken hilt, a wolf fang, another silver, and finally another silver. The silver hairpin. Silver hairpin, a traditional accessory from the Far East, said to drive off demonic spirits when worn in the hair. It gives you intelligence boost and whatnot, but it is going in the ship list. It's really hoping for this drop to be fast again. There we go. Got a second one. There we go, I got some fairy powder. Definitely not trying to pet it. <laughs> Well, I got one, and that's fine. Okay, it is now nighttime. 
it is now officially nighttime. I actually need glue. I don't remember whether these are ogre or orcs, to be honest. But they're Vikings, one way or another. Oh, level up. Nice. No sound effect, of course, because things get broken sometimes, but yeah, it's still nice. Skill up, and I got a glue. So I'll call that good for now. And I beat one more. There we go. Alright, let's go take care of the chip squeaks before it gets too late. If I'm remembering correctly, they're at the top up here where the bird normally is. Yes, yes they are. Alright, defeated the target monster. Alright. The issue is that they're going to be slow to grind. You having fun up there, Kane? Oh, I actually got a fur. Nice. Okay, rip. Quit being a coward. Face me! Like this one. And it immediately died. Five. Coward. There we go. Impressive, you did it? Hmm, don't feel bad though, having taken out cute little monsters like that. Still, the heart of the sword can sometimes be muscles. Don't forget that. At any rate, here's your reward. You've obtained 3000G. Another step closer to becoming a true warrior. Keep it up, are ya? And that's the last quest for today. Good evening, love. Alright. Teleportation! So if I head all the way up here, time to grind the sparkle string. Speaking of sparkle string, two out of three, that's not bad. Three out of four. Three out of five, but still, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bunch of it. So, give me a moment to check something. I have it that you need 11 of it in total. I'm not sure if that's accurate because, you know, these calculations were done a very long time ago and aren't perfect. I adjust them as necessary. But that's what I have for now. Oh, I'm actually almost full. Ooh. I should probably go make something. Give me a moment. Yeah, let's go clear our inventory. There we go, black grass. Okay, so taking the black grass that I just harvested, the plant stem, poison powder, spore, where is it? One of the sparkle string that I just got, and the root that I grabbed out of my inventory earlier. Out of my storage, rather, but. I make the Cursed Ring. Cursed Ring, a twisted, bizarre-looking ring. The thorns jutting from it hurts a little when you put it on. This thing... I don't know what the effects are in this game. I know that they're pretty bad in others. Give me a moment. I know in Rune Factory 4 it gives you dark resistance, but I don't know exactly what it does. Huh. So it lowers my attack by 10, my defense by 10, my magic attack by 10, my magic defense by 4, and, you know, of course, the strength, vitality, intelligence that comes with those things. So it lowers all of your stats, and I believe gives you dark resistance. So as you might guess, it's not worth it, but this thing will be useful for later. For now, make one of these, and now we're going to have some fun with it. You take the Cursed Ring. And two scrap iron, the level 45 recipe, which is the same level as it takes to make this, is the Cursed Ring. Skillful increased. This is why I decided to grab a bunch of scrap iron today and actually keep it. Because, you know, 
Why not? This is the best use of scrap iron in the game. Mind you, I used a bunch of bronze to get up to the level I am, so it's not going to be the greatest level up for me right now. But it'll, you know, be use of it for now. Let's do it. I have it, might as well get the free XP. There we go. Eh, not too great, just a couple letters, but it's fine. Let's go ship this and then go back to grinding. A twisted, bizarre looking ring. The thorns jetting from it hurt a little when you put it on. I've already said what it does, so here we go. Grab one of these, uh, yeah, there we go. Zero out of three, unfortunately. There we go, I got one at least. I need one more. Hopefully level three or four. There we go. Was it level three or four? No, it was not, of course. Why would it be? Okay. Now for what should be the final dungeon trip for the night. I'm heading down here to be able to fight a bunch of the Hercules beetles. Sorry, I think they're the Hercules. The beetles of whatever kind. Okay. 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 Guys! <laughs> Please! Oh, you're kidding me! It's off screen! Fine. Fine. Th this is fine! Ah. <laughs> there. Hard horn. One. How many hard horns do I need? I've already gotten two, but one of them glitched. There we go. So I don't know if uh, the bathhouse is still open past ten. But we're gonna hope so. Otherwise, I'll head out and grab some RP somewhere else. Gold! Exactly what I needed. Just what I always wanted. A Christmas surprise. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> oh, that, that's good. Two gold in a row. That's, that's great. I love to see it. Apparently, recordings have been good today because... Uh... Here, I'm gonna see if I still have a text file for it, because I know I wrote it down somewhere, because I did this over a few different times. I think I did it, like, 200 times or something, and I got, like, 17, which is still less than 10% that it promised me. Um, it might be in that folder. No, I don't have it. I think I might have actually wrote it down, but I have no idea where that paper would be. I'm going to appreciate the bronze I get from this anyway, because it'll be helpful for power level 1, wearing glasses and whatnot. It is still open. Good evening. Good evening. Evening. All right, bath time. All right, all energized at 10 p.m. Let's burn off some energy. Okay, so we're gonna take a pretty string, an iron, and four silver all together. To make a pendant, and then make a pendant, and then make a pendant, and then make a pendant. We're gonna take a pendant, a cheap bandage, a fur, fire crystal, proof of wear, and a diamond all together to make 
the level 38 recipe, the Sun Pendant. Okay, so I was wrong. I still need to go out and do things. So, the, the, up here. I believe, yes, right here. These little buggers can drop quality skin and we need it. Come on, this is the final stretch. This is exactly when I need it to go well. That's one. Not trying to pet it. How's my look this bad? There we go. If we take one gold, one hard horn, one speckled skin, one magic crystal, one fire crystal, all together, we make the level 31 recipe, the fire ring. Okay. Fire ring, a ring brimming with the power of fire. Its energy gives the wear protection against fire. And sun pendant, a pendant shaped like the sun. Just looking at it will brighten your day. Now, I don't believe this is true for this one, but the Sun Pendant is one of the items in future Rune Factory games that increases, like, XP, uh, skill XP, and something else. I believe it's the Star, Sun, and Moon Pendants that each help with those. I don't believe that does that in this game, but something I figure I should mention. Other than that, let's ship them. All right. Our total for the day is 51%. We gained over 19... Well, 19% for our accessory totals. Not bad. We have a lot more to do, of course, and I have some items I actually still need to get tonight, but I'm about to the point where I'm out of time for recording today. So I'm going to see if I can't get some of those tonight, and the others will be next episode tomorrow night. We'll do this, don't worry, we got this. Alright guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.